Well, happy day it is. Thanks for tuning back in, guys. All my ninjas, we are doing something new today. We're going to play a deck, I Life You Lose, on Magic the Gathering Arena in standard pauper. Pauper's new to Arena. And I thought, what better way than to run through it? It's going to be, I think, five matches. I think you play until you lose, or you can lose two matches. Either way, um, it's like a little mini tournament event. We're going to play it after uh, we go over the deck here. So I like you lose. Basically, it sums it up. We're going to run one charge. Obviously, plus one, plus one to our creatures. Give them a little boost. And if you also, if you pay attention throughout the video, at some point at random, I will do a giveaway. Uh, there will be a card, and I'll even sign something for you guys. Uh, but you got to pay attention. Listen for the keyword. We're going to run four sacred cats. Good old lifelink embalm. Four anointer priests. Now, anointer priests, this is like the meat and potatoes right here. One of the cards. It's going to keep us alive in a lot of bad situations. It's a two dropper. We're running four of them. Whenever a creature token enters the battlefield under your control, you're going to gain one life. It's also got embalm. So when it dies, we can always get it back, which is really, really neat ability. Especially when you're in pauper and standard, I, I realized. We're going to need the help. The creature's coming back as a blessing. Moment of craving. Just a little bit of removal. Minus two, minus two, but the perk is that we gain two life. That was a sale for me right there. Just running two copies. Trespasser's Curse. This card is awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad it's going to be rotating out. Because I was able to play with this deck a little bit. And uh, Trespasser's Curse really came in handy. Numerous times. Um, enchant player. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under enchanted player's control, that player is going to lose one life. And we're going to gain one life. Pretty sweet. We're running two copies of that. Four Queen's Commission, because it has lifelink. Create two 1-1 one, one vampire tokens. Awesome. Four copies. Painful lesson. <laughs> I don't have any problem losing two life to draw two cards. We're going to be gaining a whole ton of life. Period. End of story. And we're going to need some more card draw. Four copies. Painful lesson. Call the Cavalry, because it does drop the Knight Creature Tokens with Vigilance, which is also going to boost our little Anointer Priest. It's going to get the trigger, because any time a token enters the battlefield, we're going to gain one life off of it. So we're going to run four copies of Call the Cavalry to get those Knights out. Inspiring Charge, because we need a win condition, am I right? Uh, inspiring Charge, we're going to run two copies of it. That's uh, a four drop. Creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. And we're going to use an Inspiring Roar. Just one copy. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature that we control. That can definitely help out a lot. Especially because we have a lot of lifelinkers out there. A lot of one ones. I mean, I don't want them all getting easily destroyed out there. So we're, like, we definitely want to run something like this. And I thought this would be the best choice. Just one copy of it. Angel of the Dawn. It's a good old five drop. When Angel of the Dawn enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus one and gain vigilance until end of turn to three, three. This could be another win condition. Again, that plus one, plus one, and then with the Vigilance, I mean, we can get in there really quick, bubbing, and then we can just sit back, hey, untapped. We can mess on them again. Epicure of Blood. Five drop. This is the other meat potatoes of the deck. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Yes, please sign me up. Four copies of him. He's... He's really going to trigger off nicely. And then we got the old caress. The old liquor's caress. Destroy target creature, you gain three life. Yes, it's a high casting cost. It's five, but we're going to gain that three life, and we get to destroy a creature. We're only running two copies of it in the deck. Twelve planes, eight swamps, four forsaken sanctuaries. For a sideboard, two Gideon's reproach for some additional removal, two legions judgment. And to live fast, because we might need more cards. <laughs> and we can afford the life. All right, there's the deck. Make sure you guys stick around. Pay attention for that keyword. And uh, I hope you really enjoy this. Let's see what we can do in five matches. So here's what it looks like. Uh, you're rewarded based on how many wins you get. And you're allowed to lose two. And once you lose two, you're done. Five is the max. 600 gold. And two rare uh, are mythics. I like you lose. I'm sorry, I think it's an uncommon or rares. Pauper. This is going to be exciting. Billy McDetus versus Joey Moss. 
round one. Fight. All right, this looks like a solid starting hand. We got the Anointer Priest. Got a charge just in case some craziness goes on. So this deck really is geared towards gaining a bunch of life. And uh, have that life gain sustaining us until we can pull off a win condition. Or until we can drain our opponent of their life. Probably want to take care of that elf right now. I don't need him ramping up. I mean, if we can get rid of it now, why not? Where are we at? 23 life. Merfolk, huh? I'm okay, I already get what he's doing. So sweet. We do have two of our bloods. That is gorgeous. Get this Anointed Priest out. Attack with Sacred, he's not going to want to block. He only has four of those cards in his entire deck. Our Sacred Cat is expendable. What are you doing, boss? Okay. Typical, he's pumping it up. 3-3, three, three, coming in. 21-18, okay. Get this commission down. Get them triggers. It's all about them triggers. He's going to have to back off and block something or he's going to lose this fight. I wonder if he's going to come at us again. Oh man, he's still coming at us. 4-4 unblockable, and we're still at our starting life total. He already took two hits. He already took seven damage. We're still at our starting life total. Might as well pump it up right now. Take him down to eight. Math is fun. Pretty cool. I didn't even get to use my bloods. Decided not to uh, attack there. I think he got the gist finally. Alright, so he's going after the lifelinkers. Makes sense not to go for the sacred cat because we would get the lifelink and then we would just. Yeah, there's a life drain. I love that. I just love that effect. I wonder if I can make this into a more competitive standard deck without. Uh, just popper. I wonder if I could. Need more cards like that, blood though. No, in modern, definitely. All right, so sacred cat's tapped. Trespasser's curse. Such a sweet card. Mm, might as well just drop another one of these guys. He has no choice but to block now. We'll just go one attacker. Obviously, I could have gone two. But Casey has any crazy cards he wants to throw down. And All right, here we go. Number one pioneer. That's just not going to cut it. I'm sorry, pal. I mean, we could swing with everything, but play it safe right now. 
get that trigger. Embalm him. <laughs> when he comes out, got that trigger. We probably could have had him against the ropes there and finished him off, but I didn't want to lose anything. At all. Good game. So basically, he is... He just killed himself. Because I gained that life. And uh, whenever I gain life, the opponent loses life, so... He lost two life there. That was suicide. He just suicided himself. Okay. There was a reward. We're not even gonna worry about it. Let's just keep it going. Appreciate you guys tuning in. So for Pauper, I, I I looked at a few deck options. As you saw, there was the red and green. It's there's just not there's not enough for it for it to be any good. Yeah, you got a lot of more elves you can ramp, and you got the other elf that can ramp, but there's not too many solid common creatures that uh, that are up in green. Now, for red, of course, you can argue, you know, the red deck wins. There's a lot of those, those one, one or two drop wizards and stuff like that, yeah. But they only get you so far. Against a deck like this, I think I would smack one of those decks. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, we already have enough land. I'd rather get to something else because we don't have any creatures. I don't know if anyone noticed that. Good thing I did put that land on the bottom. Otherwise, we'd be kind of stuck. The only reason I kept this hand is because we have a painful lesson. We can at least draw two cards. And we do have um, the Caress where we can take out one of his creatures. Hopefully it's a much larger creature by the time we can even cast a spell. Opponent's not doing much right now. Oh, no. Okay. Discarding two cards early on, that's, that's brutal. Well, it's a good thing we have the painful lesson. That'll keep us afloat here. So just think right now, if we did not have any draw ability in this deck, how things would be. Epic Cure. He's like an epic cure. Fun. So that painful lesson was slick. We got another one of our epics. I'm gonna call him Cure Blood. Or Epic Blood. Alright, nice. Drop that down. We're one turn away. He hasn't done anything but made us discard a card. I mean, what kind of spells does this guy have? Why is he not dropping anything? You're five mana in. I mean, I guess I can't really say much. I'm, I was four in it and didn't drop anything. But man, at least I have five. Yeah, that's something. Another painful lesson. Love it. Oh, brutal. That's, I think, the cheapest removal that just destroys anything that's a common. Uh, that's black. It's a four. Four drop. Let's go grab some more cards. Okay, see, we're coming alive now. All these cards in our hand. This is good. This is good. We better just... Uh, we could wait a turn. I was going to say we should take care of the threat, but at least this way we can get the Sacred Cat out. Trying to make the best of every turn. Hey, utilize that mana as best as you can. So that 5-5 does have Death Touch, but we have two Caresses. We can take care of him. 
He's coming in. No block. Oh, brutal. He's not going to be able to take it. Is he really going to take it? Oh, this is why he was holding out so many cards. He's got so much stinking removal in his deck. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if we can pull any more of our bloods. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's three this game. Dang, hits me with another unburden. That's hurting. What to get rid of? Should I? Uh, I think we should keep both of our removals. This is going to be tough. Cavalry and Dawn. I don't know what other bigger creatures he's got. He might have more of these abominations. I'm sure he's stocked up like a play set of them. So I think that was the best bet. Cartouche. Well, this is good. I'm glad we didn't remove him right away. I'm glad we held out because now we get to destroy the cartouche with it. And another lesson. That's that's sweet. Okay, so we took care of him. That hurt him. That hurt him bad. Like I would say he's basically crippled. So we're gonna bomb him, he comes out. And number four. Twenty seven to nine. Man. Okay, so he's got lifelink and death touch is what he's running here. And a crap ton of removal. I think we just destroy it. Sayonara. I like that we gained that three life. So if we gain life, we're draining them, and then we're, it's it's just I love these triggers. I built a deck similar to this um, in modern, not like this, but just with the the life gain and drain. Um, I have to revisit it because it was. Right when I got back into Magic, it was like the Sanguine Bond and uh, the other card, like, it can create an endless, uh, or an infinite loop of, like, life gain and life gain once you get the two out. I think the one card was just reprinted recently. But the deck did not fare well. But I, I kind of blame that because I just got back into Magic. This is, like, two years ago. And I never went back to creating the deck. I think now I'd have... I think I'd be a bit better if I were to put that deck together. Okay, here we go. He's already down to eight. Might as well go in. He can't take out our 4-4. Four, four. He can get the lifelink guy, but when he does that, okay. And that drain, baby. Three triggers, he's down to five life. Better cycle that unburden. That's a wrap. Nice. So we came back from that one. We were almost down and out. That's back to back wins. Yeah, baby. I life you lose. J9. Oh, I really like this hand, though. I know we don't have any planes, but I'm crazy. Moss has done some crazier things, let me tell you. My 20s were a blast. Okay, we did not draw into our planes, which is kind of scary. If we don't get it now, we're in some trouble. Okay, he's got it. 
Another lifelink deck. Or possible lifelink deck. Trespasser's Curse. Get that out now. It looks like he's going to be dropping creatures. Love that card. Okay. So, 22-18, we're kind of up against the fence right now, but we do get these Anointer Priests. Hopefully we draw another land so we can drop two of them. Man, if it wasn't for our curse, we wouldn't be too, uh, too in the game. Ah, oh, sweet. All right, we got the planes. Let's wrap both priests. Now you got to be careful when you do this on arena. You can't just grab and drop it because of the land we have out. We got to make sure it doesn't use the wrong lands on this. Uh, it could easily grab the planes and the the sanctuary. So I'm not going to drop it. We're going to tap it up. Select our mana. There we go. One of those, one of those. Perfect. Now we can drop it. I've had it happen before. I mean, maybe they fixed the quirks. Um, it used to uh, mess you up, though. And it would just grab whatever land it wanted to. And nine times out of ten with me, it always messed me up. So, But I think they might have gotten that kink out. Calvary. Alright. A lot of triggers are going to be up in this game. He is coming hard. Oh, waging conquistador. Yeah, we need some defense now. We can't we can't continue like this. Plus we get the trigger. It does help out a lot. Gaining some life. Now we got a little bit of defense. Now we're cooking, baby. Oh, come on. He's, he's like running a similar deck to me. Let's see whose deck's better. Who's got the better life game grade? Uh... I like taking a, a lot of damage until the point where I feel, okay, I've taken too much. <laughs> and it's like almost too late sometimes. I don't know if it's ever happened to you guys. But like, I, I, I will not block as, as, long as, as long as I can get away with it. Like I will drop down even like five, six life. Back to 14. Man, those two anointer priests. Up to 18. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, welcome to standard pauper. This is what this is what goes about here. <laughs> I think it's pretty neat because you get to use cards you normally wouldn't. And I like that. Already down to six. Five. Six. Now we do have Angel of the Dawn, which we're probably going to have to use at some point here. If only we had more mana, that'd be sweet. We're going to have to do Angel of the Dawn now. And now that he's all tapped, I think now's a good time. we got to swing in. And they get Vigilance. This is what I was talking about. This is a really key card that comes in. That plus one, plus one, everything. I mean, look how beefed up every, all of our guys are now. He's got one, one, or two, one, ones out to block all this. And we got a bunch of lifelinkers. Well, we got four. And then we got two knights with the anointed priests. 
That's going to be some damage. That'll rough him up. And that moment of craving. Probably at some point I need to take out that uh, Martyr of Tusk. Is he going to double block with the, the Zila and... Oh! Oh, look at that, huh? Okay. Okay, so we could draw some cards right now. Oh, I think we need to block something here. We need to kill this dude off, and I want to make sure we kill him. So we're going to go for overkill here. I don't want that thing living. Yeah, we'll overkill. I don't care. I don't know if he has any tricks up his sleeve. He can't see that one card in his hand. All right. Now, it did come at a little bit of a loss, but I think down the road it'll help. For sure, played it safe. I'm sorry there. Call the cavalry. Trig, trig, trig. And now we got Mona Craving. Probably should take out Dusk. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I guess I was living in fear that he would... <laughs> I've been living in fear that somebody was going to protect his protect his dust guy. Because he does have a little bit of an investment with him. Five, two, Lincoln. Can't miss that first strike. Planes, we're gonna just have to wait a turn. I can always swing in with my angel. It's nice that we got a flyer on board. I don't think he has any flyers in his whole deck. So we do have a, a couple advantages here. One being our angel. I think we need to take this stupid thing out already. I gotta do overkill, he's got a card in his hand. I, I just never know what people are packing, man. could just be a land and he's just faking us out. It's got to be. It's got to be a land. Why would you not play that? Or he's waiting for something like a... Oh, it, what? It was a bishop's soldier. Oh, perfect. We got our lesson. Another priest. Oh, this is going to be game soon. We need to get is our big 4-4 four, four out. We need our vampire, dude, to really seal the deal here. Or a pump spell. Shut up. Pulls out the inspired charge. Perfect timing. So we're going to try to fake him out here. We're going to go into attack. And when he blocks, we're going to beef him up, baby. Perfect. This is going to work out good. I mean, it's been close this entire match. We haven't been ahead in life since the start of the game. He'll switch a roo. He did not see that coming. Oh! Nice. Nice. That was a good win. I mean, I got a little nervous that one. 
three straight. At least one rare and one uncommon. Now Watsy tells me. <laughs> Look at this guy's name. Oh yeah. I like this hand a lot. Um, we just better hope we can draw into some lands. Uh, I wish we had some card draw. But one of our uh, four painful lessons would be nice. No, I didn't drop the Sacred Cat yet. Mostly because I'm crazy. I probably should have dropped it. That was kind of a mistake. No worries. comes in slinging. Uh, should I drop the curse? Probably. Or should I go priest? I really don't want to lose my priest, though. And with him running red... I mean, this is kind of the matchup I wanted, though. I wanted to slap around a, uh, one of these hasty red decks. So... He's going to be taking some, some punishment here. Every time a creature comes out, we're already draining him for one life and gaining one life. That's going to keep us in the game. Some longevity here. Probably, we definitely should have dropped that Sacred Cat turn one. That's all right. We're holding out, baby. What's he going to do? card in uh in popper for sure when i speak of popper i'm speaking of the standard we're in right now guys okay not popper overall Twenty-two eighteen. get that kitty out she's cute How do I know it's a she, honestly? How do I know? Well, it does say sacred. I'm assuming it's a she. If you women is more sacred than men. So, I guess that's some sacred Jose. Yeah. Frill Despiter. We're going down. Jurassic Park, what a movie, huh? Yeah, we're waiting on him. He's running the clock down here. Take a look at all those creatures. If that archer dealt one damage to any target... That would be a nasty card. Because he could just start pinging all my creatures. All right. 17-22. See how we're just staying in the game? I... Uh, 
Maybe he has too many small one drops. He probably should have put something else in there. I mean, I don't know if you're going to win hastily in this uh, pauper standard. I might hold off on our inspiring charge. We only got three creatures out right now. I'd, I'd hate to waste them. And I really don't want to lose my anointed priest. So we're going to wait. He has four cards in hand. I'm assuming he's, he's hanging on to some removal. He's probably waiting for something bigger to come about, thinking there's going to be a larger threat. Oh! Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oops, indeed. Those kind of mistakes happen, though. Something like that happened to me. It wasn't even a mistake. Um, it just wouldn't let me change uh, the target. And I ended up targeting one of his, my uh, opponent's creatures, and gave him, like, plus two, plus two, or something like that in first strike when I was supposed to give my own creature it. It was terrible. I ended up losing that game. Oh, okay. Very nice. That was a good turn there, buddy. And our Trespasser's Curse. I think we dropped both of these. So we got the Anointer out. Oh, that's right. I forgot it's four to embalm it. My bad. Yeah, we're not doing nothing with that. All right. That's a bit of a threat now. That's a problem. 1620, because those things, when they attack, if they're dealt any damage, I mean, unless we kill one of them. But right now we got, what, one, one, uh -oh. The most damage I can do is one damage to this guy. I kind of got to hold off. This will buy us some time. Thank goodness we got both of our curses. There's a lava runner. I was running where this was. Those test bitters are going to be the death of me. 12 15. This is perfect timing that we got our painful lesson. We needed card draw right now. We need something to be able to, to win this because those frill death spitters are not going away. This is great. We got two Call the Cavalries and Inspire Charge. Took our kitty. He probably wants that lifelink. Oh, for sure. I'm not going to block that cat, that's for sure. I want that cat back. Mm. Here's where I can block the lava runner. We need to block something. I ain't trying to mess with those death spitters. Alright, this is good. We're in kind of a pickle right now. We're at four. So next turn, I mean, if we don't... We're going to gain some life. we we'll call the cavalry here, but... You know what? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Let's see if he'll fall for this. We got the inspired charge. If we attack with everything and then drop our inspired charge, 
if he's going to lose his archers, or if he doesn't block, he's. I think he's going to lose. Let's see what happens. Make a judgment call. How it comes down to this. Oh my gosh, he didn't even block. That's game. Oh man. <laughs> we were on the ropes there. Holy smokes, man. That was like a rope a dope right there, huh? The old Ali. Wow, four straight. This is cool. We got some uh, 50 pennies. How about that? That's cool. So we're on to the fifth win. Can we get it? X must be zero. Philip Suffolk. Great match to Fury up against Karn. Something we all live for. The two best planeswalkers currently in the meta. Arguably so. At least for card draw ability. Mm, this is a strong hand. It's slow, but it's strong, but it's slow. This I like better. Two painful truths, sign me up. And we do have a little bit of removal. Now we got more removal, I'm going to put that on top. Oh, not red again. We came close to losing that last one. Kind of dropped the Forsaken first. Because it's tap land. This is the Pyromancer. Now, if you notice with this deck, we do have slow starts. But man, once, once we get cooking... Mm -mm -mm. It is good. I'll hold off, see what he does. Use it at the opportune moment. on the draw two trespassers curses love it we are lacking our buddy that triggers for our creatures our token creatures we need him anoint your priest angel of dawn uh, I think we're going to have to... Uh, I probably should have gone Painful Lesson here. But I'm hoping because he has six cards in hand that he has more creatures he's getting ready to drop. So maybe we can make use of our curse right now. Plus, if I used Painful Lesson right there and we didn't get two lands, we'd end up having to discard a card and we'd be kind of stuck. So, 
Definitely don't want to lose any kind of card advantage that we have. Sweet. Mm. A lot of people might disagree with that play right there. But look at how many cards this dude has in his hand. <laughs> I was hoping he has a bunch of creatures to drop. Because right now, he's going to be taking it to the face. Okay. You don't see that card every day. Okay, he's got a lot of burn spells. Man, we don't have any life gain. Other than the curse, but that's dependent upon him. cards he has. Maybe he just got mana, uh, mana screwed. We can do a lot here. Hmm. More token splash? Sure. I'm afraid of them burn spells. So we're going to need something that gains us some life here. Nice. More lands, the better. This is looking really good now. Especially with the inspiring charge pool. And we, do, we still have one removal. I'm holding off, though, in case he drops something big. Bam, bam. See? Needed that. Up to ten. Ho, oh, ho. Every time I see your pretty face, baby, I think that I drop you. Slap you down. He's a big torso. Triggers, triggers, triggers. He's getting frustrated, I bet. It's like every time I deal damage to his life, he just gets it back. Another land, nice. Might be able to catch him off guard here. Or Angel Dome would be nice. Everything gets the plus one, plus ones. But I do that. And then next turn, Inspiring Charge to close it out. I don't want to lose my blood, though. I know it's a 5-5, five, five and we, we could attack. I just don't want to lose it, because that's going to make or break the game. I just don't. He has, he has too many cards. He's down to two. That's it. Boosh! Got him. Wow. So this deck just went five straight wins. No losses. How about that? Definitely give a thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. And if you're still tuned in, give me a that's all I need to hear. And that's, uh, just say that's all I needed to hear. And guess what? You qualify. <laughs> You'll be entered for the giveaway. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, PLA.